and welcome to MTV's coverage of the 2015 Pacific Games. Now, unfortunately, it is the final night of the Pacific Games and like everything, all good things must come to an end. But the memories that have been, that the memories from these games um, will certainly go a long way um, in terms of Papua New Guinea's sporting excellence. That's right, Lorraine. Now, over the course of the 2015 Pacific Games, we've seen a lot of memorable moments both on the sporting uh, on the sporting tracks as well as well as outside of the sporting tracks with the camaraderie of the Pacific Islanders you know having come together to stay together for you know the duration of the Pacific Games and the one talk spirit has certainly shown through uh, throughout the games now um, we've had a lot of uh, memorable performances and we'll showcase a few of those now we'll start off with our very own Ryan Pinney right, what can we say about this guy He's a legend and he's proved himself as the best in swimming in PNG. Not and just Papua New Guinea. Not whole, just Papua New Guinea. The, the, the region, Pacific. The entire region, yes. That's right. I mean, it's hard to believe that this guy is actually going to retire from competitive swimming, but he will. he's said that he'll be representing PNG in the Masters events in the coming years. He, just does, he starts that with a swimming competition in Russia, the straight World Championships. After, yeah, straight, straight after, after the, the games. Pacific Games. Yeah. Now, speaking of which, our very own Superfish has actually won us the most medals in the pool. Mm -hmm. That's right, he's got the medals in the 50 meter backstroke, the 100 meter butterfly and freestyle. The 50 meter butterfly, 50 meter freestyle, as well as the 100 meter backstroke and also he was a part of the 4 by 50 meter freestyle mixed relay. And he also got a silver in the 4 by 100 meter medley relay and the 4 by 50 medley mixed relay. Yeah. And he also got a bronze in the 4 by 200 freestyle relay and uh, the 4x100 freestyle relay. Now the 2015 Pacific Games showcased why Ryan Pinney is one of the best in the region and if you missed any of his performances, let's take a look at this very memorable event for Ryan Pinney. Listen to that. He's back in the middle. No, Pinney. Pinney's gonna get it. Yes, he does. Tell me. You tell me, Benny. Well, the crowd knows. <laughs> Up and on. No, Pinny started the kick again and you'll get it. Pinny's got it, it's a record. Wow, absolutely love that. Ryan Pinny. Is he going to break the record? I'm sure he's going to break the record. What a race, what an effort, what a champion and another record. No, Pinny. Pinny's going to get it. Yes, he does. One man as well. Ryan Pinny. Um. Pacific Games for me back in '99. Uh, even before that, I was I was always I went to Tahiti to uh, watch my brothers swim and uh, to watch the Team PNG swim. '91, I was here uh, as a you know helping out uh, with the baskets. It's always been such a big part of my my career, uh, whether I was helping out or, or in the pool. Um, it got me out of retirement back in 2000. Uh, I stopped swimming and it got me back into swimming. And once again, uh, for the second time running, it, it pulled me out of retirement. That's just how special it is for me. Uh, home ground, unbelievable, and, and Papua New Guinea should feel just so incredibly proud of, of their efforts. We're, we're, just, we're smashing it up, and, and I hope you know, the rest of the week for, for the other athletes, they can really lift and um, you know, power through, and, and everyone's behind them no matter what. The older to the younger generation, and the roar goes up here in the BSB Stadium because I would argue that no other athlete in the modern games era has done as much for Papua New Guinea as this guy. He's 
going beautifully. Just over the 20 metre mark now. Penny, is he going to go in under it? I think he might. I think he did. Who's going to hold it? Penny's got his nose in front. Has he got it? Yes, he has. He's got it. 23-10. You know, a, a big thing that I, that I haven't told anyone and I've, and I've kept it um, a, a bit of a secret for a little while because uh, I didn't want anyone to sort of, uh, you know, give up, you know, to have that worry about anything. But I actually had my um, appendix taken out two months ago. Uh, so I was in hospital for uh, four days and, um, you know, yeah, it, it, it was nearly a, a write-off for, for me being able to represent Papua New Guinea at the Pacific Games here. Watch the clock. I think he's going to break it. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. I'll, I'll always be in the pool. I'll always be in the pool. Uh, that's that's my beckoning. And um, you know, with these facilities here, it's going to make make life so much easier for me to come down. Uh, I'll always be here mentoring the younger kids, uh, no matter what. And um, you know, I'm, I'm really interested in master swimming. Um, I'm in that age group now, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, I'm going to World Championships in, uh, I'll be taking off in about three weeks to go to Russia. And so that's, that's um, you know, an event that I decided to pull out because I've been racing so well. And it's, in comparison to the Pacific Games, it's, it's, not, um, it's not as big. You know, having that support here is huge. There, um, we're sure we'll be doing good times, but um, yeah, I'll, I'll still be in the water and, and popping in here and there, but, but this is the biggest for me. the crowd thank you so much uh, even everyone along the streets so just just waving to you I wish I could go and see every single Papua New Guinea and, and just um, thank them so much it's, it's truly been a blessing and um, you know there's, there's always um, someone else to cheer for so get out there and, and support the Papua New Guinea. champion there and he's certainly got some traits that all athletes from around the Pacific can learn from. That's right and I'm sure he'll be very proud of his uh, fellow swimmers as well who've actually shown during the uh, games this time around. I think Samuel Sergis is one, one person to look out for as well as Savannah Chichenko. They've proved themselves that they can be future champions in swimming for Papua New Guinea. Yes, definitely. Now let's move on to something a little bit more exciting for those of you who aren't at the BSB Stadium for the closing ceremony. We have our very own reporters, Dion and Jeremy Moggy, out there on field. Now they're going to tell us a bit about the atmosphere because Mer well, Meriba and I are obviously <laughs> not there tonight. So uh, <laughs> boys, what's the atmosphere like at the moment? So just two weeks ago, thanks guys, just two weeks ago we were right here for the opening ceremony and the two weeks have gone by so fast with all the action from the 2015 Pacific Games. Jeremy, how has this experience been for you? Uh, you know, it's just memorable. You know, I can, I can recall the 91 games, but this one here will stay with me forever. Every single moment, every win, every loss, the joy, you know, the pain that all of these people have felt, that will stay with me. Definitely, it's been amazing. Now, the, all the sports that's gone out there, Team PNG, uh, the whole of Port Mosby has really got behind the whole event, and it's just been amazing. Now, uh, Jeremy, the atmosphere here for the closing ceremony, what's it like? Tell, tell everyone at home what it's like out here. Oh, well, it's getting electric. You know, slowly, the, the first people that came in were the volunteers, uh, followed by the technical officials. Yep. But I can tell you, once the rest of the athletes start walking in through those gates, these are heroes to all the people that are here. I'm pretty sure the crowd will become very, very electric. So it's just, as, as we speak right now, the, crowd, uh, the athletes are making their way in and uh, the crowd's big and we're ready for the uh, closing ceremony of the 2015 Pacific Games. Thanks, Dion and uh, Jeremy. They're both there, man. 
I don't know. We should be there at the stadium, Lorraine. <laughs> yeah, so that, we'll have our fun here. But you could just hear the crowd and the mm. you, you could feel the atmosphere um, in the background there. And Jeremy, really excited. Looked yeah. as though he was about to jump yeah. out of his That's skin been there. That's the most excited <laughs> I've seen him all week. <laughs> well, over the past two weeks, actually. All right. Now we go for a short break. You're watching MTV's coverage of the 2015 Pacific Games. We'll be back with more right after this. How would you like my brothers, even the so in law, all this network? Well, let me just call two names. What did they name? Welcome back to MTV's coverage of the 2015 Pacific Games. Now, the, the games alone have showcased much of the region's sporting talent and um, in particular, Papua New Guinea's rising stars. Now, a lot of people have been following uh, MTV's very own athlete, mm. Benjamin. Yes. And uh, he's, gone, he, he's gone under the radar uh, yeah. over the past few days. A lot of people have been missing him. We managed to catch him and uh, he was quite emotional to bid farewell to all the athletes and of course the 2015 Pacific Games. Games uh, just about ended, and uh, Benjamin, yeah, how has your Pacific Games experience been? You know, over these last two weeks, it's been incredible. Like, I've won gold in swimming, in tennis, in basketball, in taekwondo, in mixed martial arts, in snowboarding, and all the Pacific Games things. I, I, I I'm so proud. Thank you to all my fans out there. You've been very supportive. I think you should wave to your fans. But I can't because, you know, it's, it could snow. So you performed really well, I hear. I performed really well. I won all the gold medals and the trophies and the and the championship belt. And I put it all in these bags here. Where's, where's your here. medals? It's all in this bag. Wait, can, can I have a look at one? No. Why? It's made of gold. Why would I show you my medals? This is where we bid you farewell and you go back to your Pacific Island country, wherever it is. Yeah, I'm from that, I'm from that place. The United States of that place where Tola people are from, I'm gonna go back there. I love Papua New Guinea, but see, I can't even be here for the closing, you know? I love, I wanna be here for the closing, but the queen. How's England? <laughs> yeah, of course. I get the mission. Is that a code black or a code red? A code indigo. All right, that's, that's special. That's, that's special, queen. That's special. All right. Once. Told me, yeah, wants me to go back, you know, 007-0001-772. 3251-8336. Oh, I know that mission. Yes. And we're gonna miss you, Benjamin. I'm gonna did, miss did you. Did you learn the language? I learned that um, one of the languages I learned yeah. was um, Boina Tuna. B what? It w Boina Tuna? What does that mean? I, was, I think it means goodbye or something, so. Okay. Boy, it's tuna to you? Boy, it's tuna to you? No, boy, it's tuna. Boy, it's tuna. Boy, it's tuna. Yeah. 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 Alright. Yeah. Okay, Benjamin. Okay, we'll catch you. Okay. <laughs> See you, Sayana. Um, uh, as we say goodbye to you, and we bid you farewell. I'm gonna miss everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead. Oh. 
I'm about to tell you the secret of why I had to leave the Pacific Games. See, I was sent here by the Queen, and then she told me that I needed to win all the gold medals in boxing, in swimming, in taekwondo, in karate, in, in rock climbing, snowboarding, and skydiving. Yeah, and last but not the very least, Marco Polo. I have to say that I miss my friend so much. There. The 2015 Pacific Games will surely miss Benjamin. He's been one of the stars. <laughs> one of our <laughs> only stars, actually. All right, now the Games have provided a lot of uh, memorable moments, and this week, especially on the tracks for Papua New Guinea, it was a memorable moment. I think four times with PNG coming up on top. One, two, three, gold, silver, bronze for PNG. Let's take a look. It's 70 minutes to go. Papua New Guinea is going to be one, two, three. Sumo Papa Takaratura, they're coming down with 20 minutes to go. Here comes Papa Duama, but it's Sumo Papa going to take the gold medal. Takaratura second, Papa Duama. PNG, one, two, three. PNG, one, two, three. PNG, one, two, in the men's 400 metres. It's all Nelson Stone at the moment. How's the energy? How's the strength? PNG, one, two, three. It looks like it is going to be a PNG, one, two, three at the moment. Moen Boino beginning to make his move. An awesome finish by Boino. Oh, it is a one, two, three finish. He's really stretching it out. This would be an absolute turnover here. Albert responds. Goya comes over the top of it. It's Goya. It's a one, two, three pump in the guinea. Whistle beginning to control this race. Tanio coming as well. Whistle, whistle. The 100 meter winner does it again in the 400. Exactly two weeks ago, Meribah, the biggest question was whether or not Papua New Guinea can recite the victory from 1991. And they certainly outdid themselves and they've set, you know, the benchmark for possibly the next games to come here that, in Papua New Guinea. Exactly. The future looks bright for Papua New Guinea on the tracks Definitely. especially. So <laughs> it's, it's good to have that. Now, here's a MTV's tribute to all the athletes and the spirit of unity when we are one. One talk, one talk, you me fly. One talk, one talk, P and G just touch a sky. It all starts with a dream, a dream to be the best, a dream to live ourselves and be better than the rest. One step, one run, one kick, one smile. Wake up, stand up. This hasn't happened for a while. Dive into the dream, sacrifice all you know. Become a champion. It's all a part of.
make some noise, drown out the clock, run till your feet hurt, run and never stop, yeah we fall and rise as we set ourselves, cause when we are one we will never ever we fail. Can Become a king or queen, become the ruler of our hearts. Stand tall and feel the cheer as we go on and top the charts. Yeah. Round up the rounds through the tears at full time. Left up the left, become a legend in your pride. Be proud of who you are, keep your head held high. Get your thoughts something that no money can buy. They fire the gun and you second to none. PNG has won. When we, we are won, we can achieve. Welcome back to MTV's coverage of the 2015 Pacific Games. Not long to go before the closing ceremony for the Games uh, gets underway. You're looking at the BSP Stadium right now, which should be a hive of uh, celebration within the next few minutes, Lorraine. Yeah, definitely. A lot of people are looking forward to the opening ceremony. You know, it was the first time for the Games to come back in over 24 years. And now these two weeks have gone by very fast. And... I'm not prepared to say goodbye to the games. <laughs> uh, we're not prepared to say goodbye, but we have to. We'll, we'll enjoy the closing ceremony. It's been a pleasure having you here on MTV's coverage of the 2015 Pacific Games. He's going to do the same as well. So you can see the open area in front of the stage. This will be reserved for the athletes. Some of the ambassadors just moving into place now before we welcome them a little bit later on in the evening's proceedings. And a couple of local uh, radio DJs just warming up the crowd at the moment. They think they're hilarious. <laughs> and I'm delighted to say it's in Pigeon as well. So uh, the joke's lost a little bit on us. But hey, the crowd seems to be loving every moment of it. Brendan, I understand you were also here in 1991. Uh, you know, how has the difference been now yeah, to 2015? Um, a little vague, a little uh, long time ago. <laughs> but yeah, no, it was an amazing occasion then. I remember the closing ceremony back then in 1991. Remember the great uh, period of track and field at that particular time as well with Silver Baba, Takalai Tuna. Iamo Launa, who we ran into at the uh, stadium yesterday with Bob Snow. Some great names. It was a great period for PNG. But uh, this is 2015, and I think we should join the countdown now.
Welcome to the closing ceremony of the 15th Pacific Games. Please stand for the national anthem of Papua New Guinea. Church Choir, the National Anthem of Papua New Guinea, you probably heard the swell as the big audience here joined in with them.
Well, as Anadi, quite a start to the evening. Big uh, emphasis on entertainment, traditional and modern. And now, the entry of the athletes. This, of course, is host nation, Papua New Guinea, topping the medal table earlier on tonight, Asinata, led in by the great Ryan Pinney. And what a wonderful moment as well for a 33-year-old Ryan Pinney, who won seven gold medals in the swimming competition, six individual gold and one from the relay, and was also a male athlete of the swim meet. Notice the number of the flag bearers who came in as well. I think that's Namo from Nauru was one of them. Also other medal winners as well. I think Sapphire Yao might have been holding the PNG flag. There's Ryan Penny. Certainly a hero in these parts. Swam his last Pacific Games. And as you said, Asanade really anchored the PNG swim team home to a uh, fantastic sports carnival and games. Stadium area, and quite frankly, once they're in here, <laughs> they would have taken up all the space as well. I could have feel. <laughs> Many of the teams have, however, gone home. We know a number of them have already left, and they'll be in the mood for celebration. They've done really well in their uh, games here at home. Have topped the medal tally. Trying to think, uh, Asanade, some of the uh, the memorable moments for you. That looks like a very familiar Fiji face there on the left of the screen, Asanade. Yes, that's Banuve Tamakodoro, who also um, walked the uh, Fiji flag into the uh, Sir John Guy Stadium, the BSP Arena here. BSP Stadium, and uh, what a wonderful moment as well for him uh, winning the 100 and 200 meters in the athletics. And the other amazing thing as well is he's only, what, two or three one hundredths of a second from qualifying directly to Rio next year. He was uh, hoping that he might have done here, but um, with his trade wins up and down the main stadium over the last couple of days, that's been a little difficult. So not quite as many records as we'd hoped, but certainly some fantastic gold medal performances. And his, of course, was certainly one of them. Absolutely, as you see the uh, all the athletes in, in. Looks like the Cook Islanders there. They celebrate a very good, uh, a very good games as well. The Cook Islands. All in the mood for celebration tonight, and why not? It's been a fantastic games. Showing quite ruler there, one of the uh, PNG track team. 
Here's the shift emission as well, Mr. Kassman. Suniba Masters there going through. And there was uh, Topoke there, Teriyaki Topoke from Malke Island all the way in beautiful Cook Islands. And a very good evening to you. Rob Graham and the team from uh, Cook's really happy with what there is. Rob Graham, in fact, <laughs> top right of picture. There he is, the great man, right on cue. Good on you, Rob. Love your work. See you in Raro next year, bro. Thank you very much indeed. And hi to all our Raro friends across the Pacific. And also, I think, a group of Raros watching us tonight in Melbourne as well, Asinata. So, <laughs> love to all of you. Hope you're doing well. Here, Rana. Tahitians here. Extraordinary games as well. One of the moments, I guess, as far as Va'o is concerned is the fact that the world champions from Tahiti beaten by the PNG team. Sakasola there from uh, Samoa. Samoa is beginning to come on. I mean, you can't keep these Cook Islanders down. Rob Graham and his <laughs> mates are all over the place. And the netballers from Samoa, Sanita To'o there. And their coach as well. But yeah, one of the memorable moments, I guess, for PNG was that incredible win in the V12 VAR when they beat the world champs here in Moresby. It was incredible. Never before had it been done. I can't believe it. There's Rob Graham in the picture again. <laughs> what is going on here? All these beautiful uh, hair rays, of course. The girls from the Cooks have spent a bit of time looking the part here tonight, and don't they look beautiful? There's Ofaira Karatao from the uh, Sabon netball team that uh, won the bronze medal in the netball competition today, beating the Cook Islands. Team Fiji. Fantastic uh, rugby demonstration by this team, Asanata. You'd be very proud of them. Yeah, the uh, men's and women's team. The women's uh, team, uh, of course, an upset, uh, beating Australia in the uh, seventh final. And there's Kate Carpenter and all the netball girls who won gold uh, earlier on this afternoon, uh, beating the home side PNG in the finals. Kiribati here, all the way from Micronesia. And still they stream on. It's going to be a real tight squash in there, I tell you.
Formal parts of the evening asinate after the uh, big entrance by the athletes. Interesting, I was speaking to Norfolk Island as well, who was sure that Norfolk Island will be at games in the future. I uh, expressed some concern at the opening ceremony, but I've been put right by the Norfolk Island group that uh, they're in for the long haul and they're looking forward to attending many, many games to come. And uh, thank you very much indeed. Uh, the crew at Norfolk for making these a very successful games for you as well and congratulations to Norfolk Island certainly in terms of uh, per capita probably one of the most successful games ever for them and languages and proud of its people. We can achieve anything we put our minds to. Can Papua New Guinea host a Commonwealth Games? Yes, together we can. Do you want Papua New Guinea to host a Commonwealth Games? Yes, we want to. Papua New Guinea must be to host the 20. 26 common games here in Port Moresby and around the country. Our nation is changing. Thank you to our people and our government. We are able, a stable and prosperous country, and this is good for our people. <coughs> to all the Pekinese around the country, look at these athletes. You must follow your dreams like they have. If you want to be an athlete, <coughs> a doctor, a pilot, a political leader, you can do it. From the smallest and remote village, you can follow your dreams. Go to school and pursue a healthy lifestyle. Work hard and make this nation even 
better and greater. It makes me proud to be here with our brothers and sisters from around the Pacific. We hope you enjoyed your time in PNG as much as we have enjoyed having you here with us. These have been the greatest games, regardless of whether you won medals or not. Just by your participation, you have all made it a success. Thank you to you, everyone who competed. Thank you all, the officials from around the Pacific and from around the world. Thank you to all the volunteers and sponsors, the people of NCD and the host city of Port Moresby, Prime Minister Peter O'Neill and the government. Finally, to our good people of Papua New Guinea, your strong support has made this possible. Thank you. We wish Tonga good luck for 2019. Your brothers and sisters from Papua New Guinea will help you. Now is the time to celebrate the success of the 15 Pacific Games in Port Moresby. With these few remarks, marking the closing of this great occasion, I wish you all the very best in your future endeavors and commend you all for a job well done. I now declare the 2015 Pacific Games closed. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome the beautiful Jamie Lee, who tonight performs for us. Together we can, as we relive some of the magical moments and emotion of this, the 2015, Pacific Games.
Sonate. We're here at the closing ceremony of the 15th Pacific Games. Some memorable moments uh, in highlight there. A couple of them were mentioned already. Just wondering what might uh, have been some of yours. I believe uh, seeing 33-year-old Ryan Pinney win seven gold medals, six individual and one in the relay in swimming in front of his home crowd um, was just an amazing moment for me at uh, the Torama Quantic Center. It wasn't. as well and Matt Lam, the local boy held off the defending champ in the men's 800 another big night and uh, how could we forget the Fiji women winning the sevens against Aussie as well huh? absolutely to enjoy what is going to be, I'm sure, a wonderful modern interpretation of some fantastic cultural events as the Mud Men here on uh, centre stage, certainly wowing the internationals. And uh, perhaps as we take our leave here and leave you uh, to the delights of this wonderful closing ceremony, a chance for us as the host broadcaster to thank the organising committee Peter Stewart, Clint Flood, of course, who's looked after us these last few weeks. John, Sarah, and Rakafa as well. What would we have done without them? Absolutely great. Absolutely brilliant. And, uh, of course, our uh, thanks to the uh, government of Papua New Guinea, the volunteers, and uh, our host broadcaster led by the inimitable Martin Perry, Phil, Greg, Charlie, Ewan. Done an absolutely brilliant job. Our co-commentators as well, not here with us tonight, but uh, I hope you're enjoying the pictures back at the IBC. Asanate, uh, as I said, we'll probably take our leave now. Thank you very much indeed for the last uh, two and a half weeks or so. It's been great working with you. Thank you very much, uh, Brendan. It's been a pleasure uh, being here at the uh, 15th Pacific Games. And thank you very much, PNG. And all across the Pacific, I hope you've enjoyed uh, the coverage. Indeed. So our uh, thanks to the uh, beautiful people of Papua New Guinea uh, who turned out in their thousands over the last couple of weeks and have been such generous hosts to us all. PNG, you uh, started off with a dream and you've certainly allowed us to share it, and for that, we thank you very much indeed. And uh, believe me, PNG, we will be shouting your name from the mountains to the sea for a very long time to come. We, of course, as host broadcaster, will meet you again in four years' time in the kingdom of Tonga, and shortly, our guests or our hosts in four years 
will be presenting you with a short video display of uh, what they will be welcoming you with. So uh, for the moment, from the international broadcast perspective, it's a very good night to you. And uh, please enjoy these uh, wonderful celebrations of what has been an extraordinary 15th Pacific Games here in Port Moresby. Good night. Mesdames et Messieurs, veuillez accueillir la présidente du comité organisateur des Jeux du Pacifique, Madame Emma Waiwai. Good night, one and all. This journey is about to end and what an experience this has been. You athletes took up the challenge and showed to all of us why you are the best. You competed with dignity, honor and pride for your country. And we the spectators enjoyed every moment of it. This journey was long, it was challenging, but it was worth it. And it could not have happened if it wasn't for many groups of people who I would like to acknowledge. Prime Minister, Sports Minister and the Government of Papua New Guinea, Sir Costas and the Pacific Games Authority Board, Vijilakan and the Pacific Games Council Executive, Sir John Dawanikura and the PNG Pacific Games Association, Governor of the National Capital District and your Commission, the Venues, Infrastructure, Equipment and Committee Board and staff, all our stakeholders, including government departments that we work closely with, our official sponsor, BSP, and all our platinum, gold, and silver sponsors, the Games Organizing Committee staff, 
my fellow board members on the Games Organizing Committee, our 3,500 BSP One Talks, the 2,500 security personnel from Police, Correctional Services and Defence Force, our 3,000 contractors, the 4,000 performers, all the venue construction workers, the Oil Search Games Relay Team, Tura, our mascot, our broadcasters and media. And to the people of Papua New Guinea, big plat thank you through Kamla Yuplol Geta. You created the atmosphere at every venue, you wholeheartedly supported every team, and you made our nation proud. To all our visitors, I bid you farewell, and thank you for being a part of the biggest and best ever games. And now we're going to play a tribute to all our volunteers, the engine room of our games. Bamahuta, Bonadirava, Sebaine, Hana, Mumui, Hanai, Hanai. Thank you. Pacific heroes we will be Let the spirit of the games come alive And we will fight For the glory of our sport And be proud of everything that we've been told We want to make a nation start Come on and shout it out loud The spirit of the games is alive Let the fire in our hearts ignite the torch Let us celebrate the friendship
gentlemen, it gives me extreme pleasure to welcome Moses Town. Tonight we're celebrating Melanesian and Polynesian music through diversity with Palawai Suk Suk and the dancers and drummers from Taiki Nui, Polynesia Francais.
The atmosphere out here at the closing ceremony, Sir John Guy's BSV Stadium is absolutely amazing. A um, couple of performances are going on right now uh, with um, the athletes right in front and some of the volunteers and the crowd is absolutely amazing. A lot happening out here at the closing ceremony and we'll get back with more right after the break. evening by the Pacific Games Council President, Mr Vidya Lakhan, to the best male and best female athlete of the 15th Pacific Games. Nominations were received by the Chefs Mission. and representatives of the Pacific Games Associations. It gives me great pleasure to announce that the best male athlete of these Pacific Games, with six new games records and seven gold medals, is Ryan Pinney.
Congratulations, Ryan. For the best female athlete, it gives me great pleasure to announce that the winner, with 10 New Games records and 11 gold medals, from New Caledonia, Lara Grandjean. Ladies and gentlemen, Lara has returned home to prepare for next month's Swimming World Championships. Accepting the award on her behalf is her brother, Paul-Antoine Grandjean, right, right. Deputy Chef de Mission, L'Equipe de Nouvelle-Calédonie. Congratulations to Lara. Ladies and gentlemen, for the past two weeks, the athletes of the 15th Pacific Games have been voting in the Athletes' Village to elect one of their peers to serve on the executive board of the Pacific Games Council for the next four years. I call on the president of the Pacific Games Council, Mr Vidya Lakhan, to announce the duly elected athletes representative. Ladies and uh, gentlemen, and athletes of the Pacific, it gives me great pleasure to announce that the athletes representative on the Pacific Games Executive Board for the next four years is your choice, and your choice is Ryan Penny of Papua New Guinea. Ladies and gentlemen, the success of each game very largely depends on the large number of volunteers who make it all possible. Therefore, on behalf of the Executive Board and the Pacific Games Council, we wish to recognize the services of all our volunteers. And in doing so, we would like to make a small presentation to someone who I call the head volunteer. The head volunteer, with his Games Authority, working in partnership with the Games Organizing Committee and the Pacific Games Association of Papua New Guinea, brought us to this day where we see the closing of a very successful 2015 Pacific Games. And on behalf of the Council, I would like to invite, say, Costas Constantino to a save a tall, small token of appreciation. Thank you, Sir Costa. His Excellency, the Governor General of Papua New Guinea, Honorable Prime Minister, Mr. Peter O'Neill, and Cabinet Ministers, Provincial Governors, and Members of Parliament, Heads of State, and Representatives of various governments present here this evening. The Chairman, members of the Port Moresby 2015 Pacific Games Authority, the Chair and members of the Port Moresby 2015 Pacific Games Organizing Committee, athletes of the Pacific, representatives of Pacific Games Associations, international and Oceania federations, corporate sponsors, thousands of volunteers, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. What a wonderful two weeks of 
sporting excellence, inspired by Papua New Guinea hospitality in these world-class sporting venues. Prime Minister Peter O'Neill, the government and people of Papua New Guinea, Sir Costas and members of the 2015 Games Authority, Emma, members of your organizing committee, Governor Pakop, and people of the city of Port Moresby, Sir John Dawanikura, President of Papua New Guinea Pacific Games Association and members of your executive board, in the planning and delivery of the 2015 Pacific Games, you have indeed raised the bar to another level. In the true spirit of Pacific Games, you all came, became one team with one objective, and that was to deliver on your promises you made to the Games Council in 2009 in Cook Islands. In your bid, you said, and I quote, the central theme of bidding for and hosting the 15th Pacific Games is to create sustainable legacies. In addition to hosting an outstanding games with superior conditions that will inspire top performances by athletes, cultural performers, the workforce, and our host committees, PNG 2015 goal is to leave legacies, physical and human, that will last long after the final medals of these games is awarded. <laughs> Papua New Guinea, you kept true to your words. You indeed, you indeed delivered an outstanding games. In, in doing so, you surpassed all our expectations. City of Port Moresby, our home away from home, was safe. The hospitality and kindness and generosity of the people of Papua New Guinea left nothing to be desired. It poured, it flowed from their hearts. Thank you for making such, so for being such a wonderful host. To the thousands of volunteers who made the Port Moresby 2015 Games an outstanding success, on behalf of all the visitors to your shores, I say thank you for making our stay in Port Moresby safe and memorable. Our congratulations to the athletes of Team PNG. You are the true champions of these games. With your sterling performances before your home crowd, you have done the people of Papua New Guinea proud. You won the medal tally. You have shown us all how, with meticulous planning, with committed commitments, with dedication, with a lot of personal sacrifices, with the support of your families and your corporate sponsors, and with the financial backing of your government, realizing your dreams and reaching your goals is not impossible. PNG can and PNG did. My council. Thanks all the participating athletes of the 24 countries at these games for their outstanding performances, for taking part in your chosen sport in the true Pacific spirit of fair play, respect in pursuit of excellence. Thank you for being excellent ambassadors of your sport and your country. We also thank the very many technical officials and sports volunteers for their contribution in delivering international standard competitions. As the visiting delegations leave the shores of Papua New Guinea, 
they will be leaving with very memorable, with very fond memories of Papua New Guinea and its people to cherish for the rest of their lives. They will also be leaving behind wonderful sporting facilities in which they excelled on many occasions, creating many performance records. Their only wish would be for you to look after these world-class facilities and maintain them for the next generation of Pacific champions. Thank you, Papua New Guinea. Bamahuta. Thank you, Bada Herea. Ladies and gentlemen, the Pacific Games flag. Mesdames et messieurs, le drapeau des Jeux du Pacifique. Ladies and gentlemen, Sir John Dawanikura, President of the Olympic Committee of Papua New Guinea, will now return the Pacific Games flag to Mr. Vidya Lata, the President of the Pacific Games Council. Mesdames et Messieurs, Sir John Dawanikura, President du Comité Olympique de Papua New Guinea, va désormais remettre le drapeau des Jeux du Pacifique à M. Vidya Lata, Président du Conseil des Jeux du Pacifique. President of the Tonga Pacific Games Association, Mrs. Robin Tuivakahano, I entrust the Pacific Games Memorial flag in your care until we meet in Nikolo for Tonga for the 16th Pacific Games in 2019. The Pacific Games flag is now handed to the President of the Pacific Games Association of Tonga, Lady Robin Tuivakano. Mesdames et Messieurs, le drapeau des Jeux du Pacifique est désormais remis à la présidente du Comité Olympique de Tonga, Lady Robin Tuivakano. Thank you. I give the glory to our Heavenly Father whom is present at our midst. The Honorable Peter O'Neill, Prime Minister, Papua New Guinea. Honorable Justin Tajenko, Minister for Sports and 15 Pacific Games. Honorable Bowes Barkhop, Governor National Capital District, Mr. Vidya Larkham, President of the Pacific Games Council, Emma YY, Chair Lady Games Organizing Committee, St. John, the Wanikura, President of the Papua New Guinea Pacific Games Association. Officials, athletes, and volunteers of the 15 Pacific Games, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and the people of Papua New Guinea. May I extend our gratitude and appreciation to the government of Papua New Guinea for hosting a very successful game and your warmth and generous hospitality 
that we have all witnessed here in Port Morrisby. You have left a legacy to be cherished by all of us here. His Majesty King Tupou VI and government of the Kingdom of Tonga is committed and deeply honored to host you all in Nukualofa for the 16th Pacific Games in 2019. Welcome to the Friendly Islands, our people, our game. God bless us all. Thank you, Thomas. Ladies and gentlemen, Tonga will now present a short film and performance by way of welcome to the 16th Pacific Games in 2019. Mesdames et Messieurs, les Tonga vont vous présenter des images et un spectacle pour vous donner un avant-goût de la 16e édition des Jeux du Pacifique en 2019. Oh, my God. 
Samson Loa of the Sioni Kami Memorial Church. Mesdames et Messieurs, le révérend Samson Loa de l'église Sioni Kami Memorial Church. Let's come to God in prayer. God of all grace, to you we come. It's been two weeks since this game has been going on. And as, as we come to the end of this very memorable event, we want to acknowledge your leadership. 
coming to this nation where the whole Christian population in this nation have been calling out to you, committing this game to prayer. Now that we've been through it all, what else can we say? Thank you. Thank you, God, for answering our prayers. And as your people who know about you throughout these 24 nations have gathered together, they have been the host of this beautiful country, Papua New Guinea. And out of all that you have provided for this nation, they have been able to do their very best so that all the process, all the activities will come to an end, such as this night. Yes, indeed, it touches, there was a bit of worry in there when the rain kept tumbling down. But you saw and you acknowledged the prayers of many people. That's why you've given us a beautiful night. So what else can we say? I will give thanks to you, O oh God, among the people. I will praise you among the nations, for your steadfast love is as high as the heavens, and your faithfulness extend to the clouds. Be exalted, O oh God, above the nations. Let your glory be over all the earth, touching every nation in the Pacific. And wherever people are listening to this prayer, we pray that we all be drawn to you in a very special way. Thank you, God, for all the volunteers and all the organizations that has brought us this far to this very night where we are celebrating the end of it all. For the athletes, for the spirit of sportsmanship, they've been able to accord. We know that amongst them, there are many memories, as they have been led to do so, to ignite a history, a very special memory in each heart. So as we go our separate ways, all our athletes within and with the 23 other countries in the Pacific that have come together, we acknowledge that you have been such a wonderful Lord that has led us this far. We thank you for Papua New Guinea handing over the flag today. We know it is a significant moment, particularly seeing what Papua New Guinea has delivered. We pray that our friends of Tonga, the nation of Tonga, the people of Tonga, will not fear as to what they do as they have received the flag. Father God, that you will give them the grace to do so. From the leadership right to the people of Tonga, that they will know that they cannot compete with any other as to how to run a game. Because each nation is special, and you have graced them in a very special way. I pray, Father God, that you will lead them and guide them. So as we come to an end, I want to say this word as you reminded us in your word, that we go away tonight being still to know that you are God, that we'll exalt you among the nations, we'll exalt you in the earth, because we acknowledge all that you have done. For all this and for all the achievement, for the gold medals, and even just for the experience, we are far richer than we first came. That as we go, that your name will be glorified. To God be the glory. Great things you have done, great things you have taught us. We acknowledge all these things. And I ask this prayer in Jesus' wonderful name. And we all say, Amen. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Pacific Games Council, Mr. Vidya Lakan, will now officially close the 15th Pacific Games.
Mesdames et Messieurs, le président du Conseil des Jeux du Pacifique, M. Vidya Lakan, va désormais officiellement clore cette 15e édition des Jeux du Pacifique. Ladies and gentlemen, in the name of the Pacific Games Council, I proclaim the 15th Port Moresby 2015 Games closed. I call upon the sportsmen and sportswomen of the Pacific to assemble in four years' time in Nukolofa, Tonga to celebrate the 16th Pacific Games. May you display cheerfulness and harmony so that the spirit of our Pacific family of nations may be carried on with ever greater eagerness, courage, and honor for the good of humanity and the peace of the world. Thank you. Au nom du Conseil des Jeux du Pacifique, je déclare les 15 Jeux du Pacifique de 2015 clos. J'appelle les sportifs, femmes et hommes du Pacifique, à se rassembler dans quatre ans au Tonga pour célébrer les 16e Jeux du Pacifique. Puissiez-vous témoigner votre enthousiasme et votre entente en train d'harmonie de façon que l'esprit de notre famille de nations océaniennes se perpétue avec une ardeur un courage et un honneur accru pour le bien de l'humanité et la paix dans le monde. Games is now over. We set our sights to Nukolova in Tonga in four years' time. And it's that time of the night. I don't know about you, but I came ready to party. Are you ready to party? <laughs> Two weeks, the athletes have pushed themselves to the limits. Our volunteers, security, everyone's worked behind the scenes. And tonight, we're about to start that showcase I was talking to you about earlier. We've had one particular artist with a most remarkable voice, so special that he took him to South Africa, where he performed with the Lucky Dubé band because his voice was so close to that of the late, legendary reggae king. Anyone here tonight like reggae music? Do you like reggae music? Well, here we go, the most recognizable voice in Papua New Guinea. To lead off this show with only one promise, We'll take the roof off, PM. We'll put it back later on. <laughs> Let's rock and roll with some reggae with Ezra. Put it together. The surroundings I see Can I plead for you to come and see the suffering You get five years Parties like yeah hey, hey. You be the house of bed When we find ourselves Calling out your name See man they say another one Just not fun anymore. 
And what a way to end the 2015 Pacific Games. I'm here at the closing ceremony and it's just absolutely awesome. Behind us, um, some of the bands playing. Guys, how have you guys found your 2015 Pacific Games experience? This is the best ever experience. Best two weeks of my life. What about you? Yeah, definitely. I really underestimated the hype. And when I went for a game, man, off the hook. Well, what can you guys say about the atmosphere and the crowd at all the venues and especially here tonight at one of the ceremonies? Oh man, you know what, people on Facebook, people are saying that the ceremony is like, you know, not up there, but you know what, I enjoyed it. Yeah, that's what, all. What about you? The place is so crazy, everyone is excited. Thank you. It's good to see everybody getting behind. And as you can hear, one of the biggest acts is about to go on stage. All happening right here at the closing ceremony of the 2015 Pacific Games. I'm 
vibes now sit. Hustle every day and not the clothes and sweat. When she take it up on the appear, she got lit. But break through, break in some sweet like honey. Break me down like a dancer. Yeah. I swear the rich start making me weak. I see them on a swimsuit fantasy. Said she wanna sit by me. Just like a woman to be. Yeah. Whisper to a tender me. Tell her no baby.
Papua New Guinea, we have one thing to say. Where's all of my sunshine girls in the building today? Run in!
this pure talent sets him on a platform aside from everyone else in the Pacific. We can only describe his music as fusion of classic reggae, hip hop, and R&B. He's got that golden voice that has shaken the Pacific, and tonight he will shake you all. George PT. guys out here tonight that have uh, had their talents go unsung, can you all please put your hands together and give a big thanks so far to the Closing Ceremony House Band. They're playing artists from here, they're playing artists from there, they're playing artists from everywhere. And the next one we have for you tonight was born in Spokane, Washington, USA. He was brought to here as a child in the Papua New Guinea province of Morobe. Where he grew up, when he left 15 years ago, when he was 15 years of age. Tonight, five years, 
after being out of this country two years out of the limelight and off the stage. Let's give him a big hope coming tonight. Ocean! Yes, sir. Hey. Je m'appelle Billy Moreira, au Pacific. Island Blue, bien au Canada Pacific, comme ça bien. My brothers, I'm so honored to be here tonight with these amazing musicians, amazing athletes, amazing souls from an amazing culture. I love you all. I'm happy to be home. Sandra Morova Stava. guns because the peace is number one. United we will stay upon this New Guinea island. Yeah. Bring it brothers. Bring it on. Now you miss a bit, I'm long tennis, he come up, blow you me. Now you be no can fight, you be my spoon, and stop PC. Hey, yeah. So throw away the gun, the peace is number one. United we will stay upon this new Guinea island. From the mothers to the sun, together we will stand. Because killing one another is just Babylon's plan. Me mangi country, na now me come up long time. Something that's so let me good fella see now. So no got post, I get a money come up so we'll get us something he had to do. Now me like I did best now, run now well long way. Say say, say say, now you miss a bit and no send me see come up to you me. Now you be no can fight you me must boom and stop PC. Killing one another is just Babylon's plan. Don't follow in the footsteps of the oppressor man. Oh, he never cared why he give you the gun in the first place. Only giving you me gun, he don't want him something. I think he belong killing you, yeah. You be my stinking long future, and I know can walk that up. That is how he go long hair. Say, say, now you be savage, I'm not saying. Yeah, yeah. Now you be knocking. 
true Not a day goes by that I don't see you in my eye But I try to carry on, my God's a lonely I could die In my heart, feeling the sparks that you be giving me Why we in two different places, girl, you know it's insanity The man in me is what I gotta find to carry on This song is what I'm sending to you, girl, let's listen on down a little bit. Just drum and bass, drum and bass. I want to hear everybody sing, everybody sing. stretch now ladies and gentlemen for our closing ceremony and tonight we're going to bring it we've taken you all the way around the Pacific and now we're going to bring you closer to home tonight it gives me great pleasure to introduce you to someone that is regarded in Papua New Guinea as music royalty he has achieved so much overseas that many thought not possible because his music was so simple and so close to his heart 1997 he released a self-titled album that won an ARIA award for best world music album. And tonight we welcome him back to the stage. Please put your hands together and give a big Pacific welcome for Telek.
Folks, the hour is nigh. Let's bring back one of our artists to kick off tonight. One more time to perform one of his popular songs called Why We Play. Ladies and gentlemen, please bring him back Jay Liassi, aka Protege. What's up, PNG? My Pacific brothers and sisters. Congrats to all of you on amazing games, man. We're so proud of all of you. But you look at the how am us together. Alright?
for the lights, the sound, the bands, and all the imagery. Well done, Makura Productions. Well, there are things we must do at every game, and some of us here tonight have to pack because there are fights to catch tomorrow. We've come to this stage where it's the hardest thing to do is to say goodbye. So I would like to now just let our visiting guests make their way out of the stadium in readiness for your safe travels to your home countries. On behalf of the crowd here in Port Moresby and Papua New Guinea, let me say thank you for the love, thank you for your open hearts, and hope you take away fond memories. We look forward to seeing you in Nukualofa, Tonga. And there you have it, the end of the closing ceremony of the 2015 Pacific Games. We hope you have enjoyed that spectacular uh, celebration this evening from BSP Stadium. A wonderful way to farewell all the athletes. Now we had some world-renowned artists there from around the Pacific and of course our very own Ocean as well.
Now, All thank right. you very much for your company over the last two weeks. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much for getting behind Team PNG. We leave you with these images and memories of the 2015 Pacific Games. The time has come for us to sail into the sun Brothers and sisters stand as one Our nations rise out of the sea Pacific heroes we will be Let the spirit of the games come alive And we will fight for the glory of our sport And be proud of everything that we've been taught We want to make our nations proud Come on and shout it out loud So Dika Tour has got at least a gold medal in the clean and jerk. The crowd wanted to do this. And Lash is back. Look at this and hear the noise here. Two and including 65 kilograms. Give it a big hand, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, what a race to Bears kicking back in the middle. No, Penny. Penny's going to get it. Yes, he does. That's the eye for that. She looks around at a fan. Celebrate! This is an amazing whip. What scenes here at the indoor centre? Yeah. Oh, it's in the back of the net. It's going to come along. What a race! Thank you so much to the crowd for supporting us. I just had so much fun then. Nice play, Zimming. Zimming with a bit of ball play. He deserves a try. 38 all. The Australian gave it 38 all. And the other two judges, the German and the Australian, and gave it 40, 36, 49. And if we rise or fall, we will still Gee. stand tall. One more medal on the track as a mature athlete, and he does the job. This must be a goal. Yes, it is. Happy 
Big in in front. Left of honor for the winners. Ladies and gentlemen, that is history. You have just seen a world record to Linda Paulson. Between the two BNGs, Tom is looking over a number of hurdles, but it's good. Here she comes, the fastest woman in the Pacific. The war is huge. We are the heroes of our nation. Beautiful hole running. Tremendous timing. Well, let's go up there with the